Hello, Isabel Mendoza here presenting my Theater 321 Directing Scene Final. For my Directing Scene Final, I decided to choose a scene from Mark Hamiletti's play Boeing Boeing. Architect, playboy named Bernard, who is quote unquote engaged to three different air hostesses, one from the United States, one from Germany, and one from France. He lives this way because he's fascinated by each woman, not knowing how to pick which one, so he decides to schedule each time based on their air flights to have them come over so that way they don't see each other. Each air hostess of course thinks they're the only one, so they think it's normal and they're living their happily ever afters with them. The conflict exists in the fact that the actual airline routes did end up getting changed. All three air hostesses end up coming back to Bernard's earlier than expected, which means that there is a high chance of them finding out about each other and blowing Bernard's cover. What will happen? Will Bernard's cover be blown? Will he be able to keep all women? Or will he just be broken up with? The scene that I decided to choose for my play, Bernard's friend Robert from school back in Wisconsin pays him a visit in his flat in Paris. Now Robert, a man who is wanting love so badly and not knowing what first step to take, who is very dweeby, he's fascinated by the life that Bernard lives in this wonderful Parisian flat in the 1960s, having three women at the same time. Bernard, who is calm, cool, and collected, suave, very much a playboy, he is always in the mindset that nothing could possibly go wrong, but of course when you watch the play, everything does go wrong. I decided to choose this scene because it really sets the scene it really sets the story of what this play is about, who Bernard is, who and gives you a glimpse of who exactly Robert is. Grab some popcorn, maybe a snack, and enjoy. Questions, comments, or concerns? Contact me. But it's so simple. A child could see it. Someone just had to think of it. My three fiancés are all air hostesses. All three? Yes. Air hostesses? All three. Well, don't be barmy. Three air hostesses. That's the trick. And they're all fantastic girls. Fantastic. If TWA was anything to go by, they're devastating. And the other two are just as good. Of course they are. They've been tried and tested. They've been what? They're handpicked through the admissions procedure of the different companies in every respect. Physical, intellectual, moral. So all work's done for me. I'm choosing from a pool which has already been super sifted. Not bad, is it? Uh, yes, yes, not bad. The only thing is, I have to pick them up from different airports and uh, with different routes so they don't meet, you see? All right, yes. I can see how it works out in theory, but I'd be very curious to see how it works out in practice. And you will. Couldn't be simpler. Gloria, my American, the one you've met. Well, she takes off in ten minutes, and in a quarter of an hour, Gabriella arrives. Gabriella? My Italian. A beautiful kitten. She'll be here for lunch. Lunch? That's cutting it a bit close, isn't it? I mean, the other one was only just here for breakfast. Yes, it is a bit touch and go today, but today's an exception. Gabriella is in transit. Normally it's perfectly straightforward. Two days Gloria, two days Gabriella, and two days Gretchen. Gretchen? My German. Oh, that's your German. It's an international harem. Exactly. Look, Gretchen gets in from Stuttgart this evening at the same time Gabriella will be on her way to Caracas, and Gloria will be in San Francisco. You see the beauty of it? Yes, perpetual motion. Your mathematics, everything designed, organized, and regulated, working to the precise second. The earth revolves around its axis, and my fiancés wheel above the earth. One this way, one that way. One towards the sun and one towards the moon, until they in turn all come home to me. It's geometrical, my dear Robert. 
so precise as to almost be poetic. And here I live in the middle of a perfect example of polygamous family life. I don't just change women. I change my diet as well. It's like living in a restaurant, so there's no chance of ever getting bored, either in the dining room or in the bedroom. Oh. Perfect. Remarkable. Quite remarkable. Things are going a bit awry. Uh, Gloria does eat the most extraordinary things. Apart from that, though, Flawless, I tell you, it's a dream. But Bernard, how do you find them? I have a friend who works in Orly Airport. He knows all the air hostesses. They talk to him, they tell him their secrets, and if he thinks they might be lonely, he introduces them to me. Does he really? He might help you. After all, you're a friend of mine, I'm a friend of his. I'll give him a ring. Oh, no, 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 that's not my type. I mean, it's okay with you. I mean, you've got the talent, the flair. That's got nothing to do with it. The timetables are the timetables. You just have to follow them. No, 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 not now. I'll have to think about it for a couple of, <laughs> of years. But uh, Bernard, what happens if they change route? Impossible. It's all been worked out. It's on a schedule. Mathematical. Marvelous.